And we've got a good one on Cap tonight between a couple of teams, Greg, who can really shoot the three ball. Uh, some of your thoughts coming into this one. Well, when you have teams like this, it's about guarding that perimeter. If you don't, they're going to rain on you the entirety of the game. So this might be one of those games that comes down to who has the ball last. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. They've got Aiton. Sharp out there with Brogdon. Then there's Grant. And it's Kamare in its small forward. Now here's Brogdon. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. And, Brunt, we know one guy who would have been valuable in any year, DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, with that size, he got that old-school drawback to the post, physical center uh, type of physique, but he works mostly on the block and doesn't create a lot down there. Each year, he's trying to add a little bit more to his repertoire. First one drops. Well, the Utah Jazz GA have one of the highest win percentages in NBA history. And they're probably the greatest franchise to never win a championship. They made the finals twice. Unfortunately, they had to face Jordan and the Bulls both times. And he makes both free throws. And Aiton, with that efficiency, just becomes an outstanding option for what you do offensively. Pass to Abaji. They set the pick. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Collins. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jordan. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. George against Brogdon. Down low. Here's Grant. Collins with some nice D. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Pass to Markinen. Down to five on the shot clock. Collins kicks to George. And he starts out with a miss in this one. And Portland with the ball. Passes it to Brogdon. little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. No good from Grant. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Clarkson for three. Drills it from outside. Well, the more Clarkson plays in the pick and roll, it seems like he gets confidence and the better he becomes. Tough cover for the D. Pass to Kamare. Eight in the screen. Here's Kamare. He averages a bit over six points a game. Aiton a screen. Sharp the pass to Aiton. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Aiton rolls to the hoop for two at 7-1. Very fluid. Clarkson outside. Cowan setting the pick for Clarkson. Dishes to Collins. Launches it. And that one's good, Abaji. The big man John Collins seeing the court that time. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Rodden yes, against George. Now, here's Sharp. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. And there's the pass to Brogdon. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, Brogdon just has a great feel as to when he should shoot it. Most of the time, it's in rhythm and within the offense. Clarkson kicks to George. Pass to Collins. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. So, Brent... With the end of the 2023 season, it saw the Blazers finishing 13th in the West. Yeah, Kevin, that's the 13. second straight year that they've been in that 13th place. 
And certainly that's not the type of consistency this team is looking for. Look, they're in between. They've got veteran players and young guys coming up. They've got to do something to feed one end of that, and we'll see what they do this year. Watch Collins night in and night out, and when he's fully engaged, there's some ferocity behind his play. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And every season, you have teams, Greg, that start out hot only to fold it. How do you separate the real from the rest? Kevin, that's a good question. And, and one thing is what we call point differential. Doesn't just look at wins and losses, but margins of victory. And it can indicate who's really built to go the distance. Now, here's Clarkson. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. George finds Markinen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. Two. First one falls for him. Well, Brent with the Blazers, it seemed like they were ready to take the next step a few years back. Yeah, and then it felt like things sort of shifted in the opposite direction and they're trying to find out through injuries and defensive struggles who is it that is going to help this team make that next step. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Walker Kessler comes in for Jordan Clarkson and Taylor Horton Tucker subbed in for George. At this point you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line pretty much automatic. Portland moving the ball around. Bible, the pass to Grant. Eight in a screen on Markinen. Tries it from the top of the key. That's good on the jump shot. That's a lot of hard work in the offseason for Jeremy Grant to become better at the mid-range. Finding some footing there. Pass to Markinen. Fades away. That one's in his first shot this game. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there. Making the pass. Nice assist. For three, Henderson, and it's John Collins with the rebound. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Markinen down low, working on Grant, and there's the bucket for Markinen. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Henderson looking it over. Pass to Grant. Ayton sets the pick for Grant. Shoots over Markinen. Offensive rebound. Oh, and the jam by Ayton. Yeah, if Ayton can get in that kind of position, he could be a bully on the inside. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. 23 seconds left to play here in the first. And here is Markinen. Six points for him. Inside with two seconds left. Misses at the rim. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Jazz out in front. They're up by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. What do you guys think about the Jazz here in this one? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. And here's Anderson. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. Trailing by four. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. Moses Brown is out there with Walker. Then it's Henderson. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Brogdon in at the two. Already a gifted passer. Henderson has solid vision for such a young player. And the pass to Markinen. It's up a three. Here's Horton Tucker. And Utah again with the bucket. Good presence there. Already in his shooting motion, he spotted the open man and made the unselfish play. Henderson with a screen on Sexton. Brogdon and he uses the glass on the layup. Brogdon's got five points now in the quarter. Wow through contact Brogdon a nice job there just a will to score on that play. Brogdon against Sexton. Pass to Hendricks. Outside Sexton. Clock at four. Passes it to Kessler. It's over Brogdon, and again it's Utah. Willingness to share the ball. Sexton can score and is hungry to do so. you got to keep your teammates happy. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And, boy, he has got a nose for blocks, doesn't he? I mean, able to detect shots forming and get a hand on the ball. It is such a gift that allows this guy to make such a big difference on that side of the ball. Clarkson, he's checked in for the Jazz. George comes in for Horton Tucker. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. There's the screen. Four on the shot clock. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. And the basket by Kamare. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Now, here's Sexton. Nine points last game. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Toughness there shown by Colin Sexton. No stranger to having to out-muscle the defense from time to time. Sharp the pass to Brogdon. Thibault kicks to Brogdon. And the Trailblazers, another three. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. They set the pick. George passes to Clarkson. From deep. And it's Portland with the rebound. Last time they met was in Portland this season. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. It was definitely that defense that carried them to that huge win that night. You have to figure they'll be primed to wreak even more havoc here in this one. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Simons grew up under the tutelage of his father, whose workout regimen sometimes left his son in tears. Anthony said, I didn't get real joy from working out until middle school. By high school, it was just a normal day. It was so ingrained into me, working out extra and getting up as many shots as possible. Kevin? Well, it brought him here, David. Thank you so much for the story. And Utah making a change here. Abaji's checked in, and a switch here also for Portland. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Walker. Clarkson for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. Clarkson's got the game tied up here for Utah. Portland's gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're three of three on three pointers. Here, Sharp. Really taking it to the defense. Sharp was smart not to hold back that time. Yeah, easy call. Hey, Brent, when you look at Shaden Sharp, he has shown flashes of being a great offensive player, hasn't he? Well, he's got all the tools, Kevin, to be a superstar. His development is going to take some time. He essentially went from high school straight to the NBA after redshirting 
one year in college and not playing one minute. And the first one at the line is good. And we've heard defensive minded players Greg say man everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point. It's getting tough isn't it. I mean you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. Collins checked in for the Jazz. And so he makes both from the line. Sharp still trying to find some comfort and familiarity at the free throw line. Sometimes it takes some young guys longer. To the paint. And it's Clarkson that time on the assist by George. Clarkson's got eight. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Pass to Sharp. Oh, Aiton in position. Stolen by Cowan. Takes a step back. 11 feet away. And it's Portland with the rebound. Aiton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Henderson against George. Henderson passes to Grant. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Jazz. There's 117 left in the first half. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Clarkson's got seven points for the quarter. Well, Clarkson can get inside. He's athletic to do that and then needs to touch in that area. Showed it off there. There's the pass to Aiton. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Jazz have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Now, here's Clarkson. Defense is right there. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. George has got four assists now tonight. to Kamare and here's Sharp here's Kamare there's a good screen five on the clock puts up a three again the miss by the Trailblazers Jazz leading by four George passes to Clarkson From downtown, no good on the shot. Jordan Clarkson getting it done for Utah. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, John. It was a back and forth first half, but you've got the lead. How did you get it? Uh, nice mix, you know, uh, the first group came out and we, we had a solid half, let up a little bit, so I think our bench guys came in and gave us the needed minutes, finished out the half strong, and we got the lead going into the next half, so uh, way to finish out the half for the guys, for sure. Thanks very much for your time, John. Back to you. All right, thank you, David, and folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Welcome to halftime, everybody. Before we go any further, a look ahead to the games yet to be played tonight. The Los Angeles Clippers will be playing against the Warriors out in San Francisco. That one gets going 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. And on paper, these two are pretty close in terms of talent. Yeah, that's going to come down to effort. And who controls that pace? And let's review how things are going for the Jazz. They find themselves in a tight one here at the half. You know, the entire coaching staff loves the way they're playing. Sharing is caring, and these guys are playing for one another right now. It's awesome to see. Judging from the oohs and the ahs in the studio, I think we all agree. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half.
And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You know, guys, Malcolm Brogdon has been exceptional here tonight. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. We've got George. John Collins is out there with Markinen. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's Abaji in at the small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. And it goes down two points. And it's eight points for DeAndre Ayton. Well, the size that Brogdon has at the point guard, a good job of finding somebody over the top. You know, Greg, the way Malcolm Brogdon is used in the catch-and-shoot game, it makes that offense very difficult to stop. Well, he's a high-percentage shooter, doesn't go through many ups and downs, and when he doesn't have the look he wants, he's willing to get off the ball. Now, Brogdon, after Jordan Clarkson missing on that last three-pointer. Pass to Kamare. Sinks the triple. Kamare's got six points. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Pass to Markinen. Picked by Markinen. This is it to George. The tray. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Aiton's got his sixth rebound on the night. George against Brogdon. Ayton sets the pick for Brogdon. Second shot opportunity. And Ayton with the layup. Ayton's got the lead up to three now for Portland. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Sweet little floater. He's got eight. Well, the defense didn't slow Markin down one bit. He was able to stay on stride. Brogdon against George. Brogdon the pass to Sharp. To the middle. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And a guy who's bounced around the league a bit. Clarkson tightened up his game. And now he is a key factor in what this team does. The Jazz shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Free throw good, Clarkson. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Sharp. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. Brogdon finds eight. And Aiton throws it down. Uh, the skill's growing maybe right in front of our eyes here for DeAndre Aiton. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, there's a new era in Portland with number three pick Scoot Henderson viewed as the franchise player of the future. He says, I'm going to embrace it. I've got a lot of responsibility, but it just comes with the work ethic. I always fall back on getting in the gym. I'm determined to be the best version of myself. Kevin, back to you. I love the fact, David, don't you, that he wants to be great. That was a terrific report. Thank you. Just five on the clock. Ogden kicks to Grant. Here's Aiton, and he goes big with the dunk right on top of John Collins. How about Aiton going up there and showing off a little bit of his skill with the half turn? And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Clarkson outside. 
good. Nice job down low. Clarkson's got four points this quarter. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. George against Brogdon. The pass to Grant. Fires the three. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Clarkson outside. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And the strength of Clarkson on display. Awesome job fending off the defense timeout, timeout. and not letting that deter him from scoring. So timeout right. called here. The first for Portland. Both teams will make substitutions. And right there is the list of rookie assist leaders for the last 10 games. It's been all about team play for this group lately. Keontae George, number one. And those are some of the finest passers the rookie class has to offer. I mean, that's some great company. I think he'd like to stay right in that mix. Henderson dishes to Walker. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Sharp the pass to Henderson. It's deflected. George against Henderson. Archon outside. Pass to Collins. Six on the shot clock for the lead. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You got to be cautious when you guard Clarkson. He's got a good burst. And when he gets assertive like that, oftentimes we'll draw a foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Blazers. The three pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up. And boy, have they. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Horton Tucker's checked in for George. drops for him. Portland's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Mays passes to Henderson. Henderson with a screen on Sexton. And that one's good, Aiton. Aiton's got 18 points. Uh, Aiton pouring a foundation there on the inside, just living in the paint. Horton Tucker, the pass to Kessler. Clarkson with the ball. No good with the triple. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. 
Utah is getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. And there it is for him. Harkins got 22. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Henderson outside. Had the space there, but it's offline. Jordan Clarkson getting it done for Utah. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be back with you shortly. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. And on the floor for Portland here on the fourth, we've got Walker. Scoot Henderson is out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then there's Murray. And it's Thibel in at the three spot. Here's Horton Tucker. The offensive rebound. Kessler. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Murray finds Brogdon. Now here's Henderson. Back to Brogdon. Murray outside. Brogdon scanning the floor. Shot clock at five. Here's Fable. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Here's what Portland has lined up on their schedule. On Thursday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Saturday, They'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Free throw drops in there for Thibel. Second free throw, no good. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. The shot by Sexton, no good. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Brogdon the pass to Murray. Henderson kicks to Brogdon. Fable for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Now, Horton Tucker. He dishes it to Markinen. To the inside. Here's Kessler. He gets that one. Kessler's got four points in the quarter. And Markinen should do that more. He's got the height to survey the defense and try to find the open man. Henderson left side. They set the pick. Bible on the wing. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got four assists in the game. Here's Horton Tucker. Henderson defending. Here's Hendricks. And the Jazz making a change here. Abaji's checked in, and the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Grant's checked in. Utah with the ball. It's a one-point game. 
Here's Horton Tucker. Henderson defending. Three on the clock. Sexton for three. Another miss by Utah. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. And don't be surprised if it comes down to the last possession. Here's Kessler. Portland making their last shot. Steps back. Sexton finds Kessler. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Kessler's got six in the quarter. And Sexton working the ball to a teammate. That's what you want to see from him. Pass to Murray. Passes to Brogdon. Five the bounce pass. Marking in against Grant. Final for three. Good, and Grant gets the assist. And the Trailblazers lead by two. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, time out, time you get out. the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Utah calls timeout. A different look for Utah. Collins checked in for Walker Kessler. Clarkson comes in for Collins Sexton. And Georgia subbed in for Taylor Horton Tucker. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Now, during that break, Will Hardy with some good words for his team. Now he's encouraging them to keep attacking in the paint. He said, when we get inside, we score. Simple as that. Keep attacking and don't settle for anything that's not at the rim. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's George. That shot off. Good D by Brogdon. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Portland. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Three-pointer. And the Trailblazers, another three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Great, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking. The dish to Aiton. Kicks it out to Grant. Just five to shoot. A three ball. Hands it from downtown. And now it's an eight-point Portland lead. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot, Defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Rodgen against George. Rodgen the pass to Grant. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. 
took a substantial hit there and Grant able to finish. Wow, that was a bump. Here's Clarkson. 103 left to play in the final quarter. Feeds it to Collins. Outside, marking it. It's good from long range. Got to get the ball to your scores, and Lowry Markinen is one of them. To the middle. Here's Ayton, and Ayton throws it down. We are in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. And Utah has possession after the Trailblazers pick up two. Clarkson for three. They get it back. Collins. Outside for George. Six seconds separate in the shot and game clocks. Nails the triple. And developing that three ball shot, George is putting in the work now. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Some padding here on the free throw line. Some good work. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. They're down by seven. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so they're going to use it. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. The pass to Abaji. Connects from downtown. Can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. Yeah, breakdowns like this are only going to hurt you moving forward and late in the game. Establish some trust and make the defense come together.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. Oh, boy. A massive trip to the line here for one Shaden Sharp. Let's see if he delivers. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by five. Harkin in from outside. And Utah, another three. Now a timeout called by Portland. go to the intentional foul. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. And so the big win by Portland in a tight game. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And now, our New Balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton.